NASA just confirms 10th planet discovery, reveals it's larger than Pluto. The solar system hasn't been the same since Pluto was downgraded from a planet to a dwarf planet, and all bets have been off since this monumental decision. Recently, scientists at the California Institute of Technology proposed that there might be a 10th planet in our solar system. The team asserted that it appears to be 10 times the mass of Earth, and that it is hiding out in the remote recesses of our solar system, well beyond the orbit of Pluto. So have they actually found Planet 10? Let's find out. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about the confirmation of 10th planet discovered by NASA and it's larger than Pluto. So if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The universe is a strange yet beautiful place, because you never know what you are going to find the very next moment. A similar miracle happened recently when scientists from the California Institute of Technology caught the glimpse of another planet lurking around in our solar system, calling it the 10th planet. Before this discovery, Mike Brown, who was behind the work, noted that the existence of a 10th planet is extremely likely. Hey Planet 9 fans, a new eccentric KBO was discovered, and it is exactly where Planet 9 says it should be, Brown tweeted. Furthermore, he says the new object takes the probability of this being a statistical fluke down to 0.001% or so. Similar discoveries have been made in relation to new dwarf planets, located about 13.7 billion kilometers from the Sun, 2014 UZ224 measures about 530 kilometers in diameter and takes around 1,100 Earth years to complete its orbit. And so our little corner of the cosmos has been in quite the state of flux. But it appears that there may be more surprises lying in wait at the edge of our solar system. Catherine Volk and Renu Malhorta at the University of Arizona have noticed some strange movement out in the Kuiper Belt movement that they believe could suggest the existence of a 10th planet. To break this down a bit, objects in the Kuiper Belt are far enough away from the other major bodies in our solar system that the gravitational influence of the large planets doesn't impact them, at least not to a measurable degree. However, their movements can still be predicted thanks to sky surveys and a host of advanced technologies. Astronomers have found a 10th planet larger than Pluto and nearly three times farther from the Sun as Pluto is today. Temporarily designated 2003 UB313, the new planet is the most distant object yet seen in the solar system, 97 times farther from the Sun than the Earth. It also is the largest body yet found orbiting in the Kuiper Belt, the group of icy bodies including Pluto which orbit beyond Neptune. Like Pluto, 2003 UB313 is covered by methane ice, and at its present distance is chilled to just 30 degrees Celsius above absolute zero, says Mike Brown, the Caltech astronomer who announced the discovery. The sleep-deprived father of a three-week-old daughter, Brown said the discovery was almost as exciting as having a new baby. Adding to this, Pluto was the only object known in the Kuiper Belt until 1992. But since then, astronomers have spotted hundreds more faint, icy bodies with orbits beyond Neptune. Five years ago, Brown's group began a systematic search for big Kuiper Belt objects, which earlier yielded Quar, about 800 miles in diameter, and Sedna, previously the most distant object known, at 91 times the Earth's distance from the Sun. The survey also yielded the new planet and other two objects only slightly smaller than Pluto which Brown kept quiet as he analyzed the survey data and made new observations to learn more about 2003 UB313. The survey first spotted the new planet in October 2003, but it was not until 8 January 2005 that Brown realized the object was so distant that its brightness meant it had to be very big. Calculations showed it was near the most distant point of its 560-year orbit, and in 280 years, it will only be 36 times as far from the Sun as Earth is. Its orbit is unusual in being tilted 44 degrees from the orbital plane of the Earth and most other planets. Brown suspects the planet's orbit was warped by a series of encounters with Neptune. 
Although the planet's brightness is known, estimating its size requires knowing what fraction of incident light it reflects. So, infrared observations could provide that information, but the planet was too faint and cold for the Spitzer Space Telescope to spot. From that failure, Brown concluded that the planet must reflect 50% to 100% of incident light, and thus must be larger than 2,300-kilometer-wide Pluto, but no larger than 3,000 kilometers in diameter. Pluto reflects 60% of visible light, and if the new planet does the same, it would be near the large end of that size range. Moreover, Brown had hoped to have time to make more observations to pin down more details, including the new planet's size and brightness. But Spanish astronomers independently discovered one or two other big new Kuiper Belt objects. And on 28 July, the Minor Planet Center at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics in Massachusetts published an orbit based on their data for the object designated 2003 EL61. The following morning, Brown received a phone call claiming that unknown hackers had stolen some of his data and planned to publish it as their own. That led him to announce the planet and a third object, temporarily designated 2005 FY9 by the Minor Planet Center. The discovery is sure to heat up the debate over how to define a planet. Some astronomers claim Pluto is just an overgrown Kuiper Belt object, but Brown thinks it should remain a planet. The International Astronomical Union has avoided a formal definition, but the new object may force the issue. Brown has already proposed a name, but would not disclose it. The new discovery shows the raw power of the new all-sky surveys that examine huge areas looking for things that move, says Brad Schaefer, an astronomer at Louisiana State University. The survey has now covered most of the sky, but Brown said a few more big objects may await discovery. So why did it take so long to discover the new planet when it was already there all along? As mentioned earlier, the new object, temporarily named 2003 UB313, is about three times as far from the Sun as is Pluto. In addition, the object is inclined by a whopping 45 degrees to the main plane of the solar system, where most of the other planets orbit. That's why it eluded discovery. Nobody was looking there until now, Brown said. Some astronomers view it as a Kuiper Belt object and not a planet. The Kuiper Belt is a region of frozen objects beyond Neptune. Pluto is called a Kuiper Belt object by many astronomers as well, and Brown himself has argued in the past for Pluto's demotion from planet status because of its diminutive size and eclectic and inclined orbit. But recently, he struck a different note. Pluto has been a planet for so long that the world is comfortable with that, Brown said in the teleconference. It seems to me a logical extension that anything bigger than Pluto and farther out is a planet. Offering additional justification, Brown said 2003 UB313 appears to be surfaced with methane ice, as is Pluto. That's not the case with other large Kuiper Belt objects, however. This object is in a class very much like Pluto, he said. NASA effectively endorsed the idea in an official statement that referred to 2003 UB313 as the 10th planet. Yet in recent years, a bevy of objects roughly half to three-fourths the size of Pluto have been found. This poses a question. How many planets are there actually? Brian Marsden, who runs the Minor Planet Center, where data on objects like this are collected, says that if Pluto is a planet, then other round objects nearly as large as Pluto ought to be called planets. On that logic, 2003 UB313 would perhaps be a planet, but it would have to get in line behind a handful of others that were discovered previously. I would not call it the 10th planet, Marsden stated. In addition, according to Alan Boss, a planet formation theorist, to just call them planets does an injustice to the big guys in the solar system, Boss said in a telephone interview. So the very definition of what constitutes a planet is currently being debated by Boss and others in a working group of the International Astronomical Union. Boss said the group has not reached a consensus after six months of discussion. The debate actually stretches back more than five years and is rooted in the fact that astronomers have never had a definition for the word planet because the nine we knew seemed obvious. 
So this discovery will likely reignite a healthy debate about what is and what is not a planet. And while we know so little about this new planet, there is a lot of evidence which needs to be collected up close to confirm its identity as 10th planet in our solar system. And that's it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.